Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to begin. Hello, core members. This is Mr. Bailey, and welcome to the Social Studies Study and Prep Podcast. Where preparation melts anxiety like ice cream on a summer day. Wow! If you haven't, before listening, please check out the instructional video provided on the website. You ready? Let's get into it. We are reviewing from the Kaplan High Set Exam Prep, 4th edition. Please refer to page 542 in your book. Today we are looking at key ideas from lesson 1. Now, as I have stated in class, the best way of reviewing the most important material is by taking the key ideas located in the upper left hand of each lesson and turning them into questions. For example, if a key idea presented confirms the United States as a leader of manufacturing during the Industrial Revolution, the question would become why and how did the United States become a leader of manufacturing during the Industrial Revolution? Between your social studies book, our classroom discussions, and the additional supplements provided via email, you should be able to find the answers to your key idea questions. Let's get into the first key idea which states, European explorers sought wealth and conquest in the New World from the 1400s to the 1600s. So turning that statement into a question now becomes, why and how did European explorers seek wealth and conquest in the New World from the 1400s to the 1600s? According to our list of high set exam tips provided by your book, the high set exam focuses on the causes and effects of certain happenings in history. Basically speaking, focus on the hows and whys versus the whos and whens. Okay. Not to say knowing names and dates are unimportant at all, but truly understanding the root causes of topics like the Revolutionary War, which is what we are leading up to here in this chapter. USA, USA, USA. Also. Social studies covers a spectrum of different subsections like economics and geography. So instead of saying, I need help in social studies, instead refer to the key ideas in each lesson when reaching out for additional help. So with that being said, let's research our question. First, the why. When European explorers arrived to the New World, later known as America, why did they seek wealth and conquest? Hmm. First and foremost, the question posed focuses on a specific time period, the 1400s through the 1600s. While looking for our answer, we want to scan information from that time period only. So upon inspection, you will see that the time periods mentioned are referenced in paragraphs 2 and 3. Once you get to paragraph 4, the first sentence references the 1700s. That is beyond the time frame mentioned in our original question, so we can leave that paragraph alone. Stay with paragraphs two and three. We are looking for the why. Now, one tip I would like to mention is the skill of word matching. If the question we created mentions the new world, is there anything in paragraphs two or three that mentions the new world? Upon further inspection, paragraph 2 is the only one that mentions the new world. So we can focus on that paragraph. Okay. If you read a bit further after the sentence that mentions Europeans arriving in the new world, the passage then states that the explorers were seeking valuable resources and the glory of conquest. Does that explain the why regarding Europeans arriving in the new world? Absolutely. You have just answered the question you created to better comprehend the key idea. At the start of the lesson during class, I gave you an easy way to remember why the Europeans came to America. The three G's, God, gold, and glory. Now, if you count valuable resources as gold, you have one of the three G's right there. The passage already spoke of the glory of conquest, so that is your second G. And the third G, God, speaks on the religious freedom some Europeans wanted as well. 
Now that you know why European explorers came to the New World, analyze the how. When the Europeans arrived, where did they go? This is the way we figure out the how. The passage speaks on European settling in what we know as the 13 colonies. We can safely assume that our how answer will be covered in the second or third paragraph due to the time period we mentioned before, the 1400s to the 1600s. In the third paragraph, the passage states that European nations founded settlements in North America. Settlements were established to provide a permanent residence to gain power and wealth. The passage also mentions how the Native Americans that were already established here in America faced tragedy due to the arrival of the Europeans, further demonstrating the conquest mentioned in the original key idea. Sadly, many natives were moved off their land. So not only does that answer the how, but it also reinforces the why. Power and wealth can easily be translated to gold and glory, two-thirds of the three G's I already taught you. So now we have a clearer understanding of why and how the Europeans sought wealth and conquest. This podcast will continue to give you an overview of the key ideas we are covering in class, so you have the knowledge base needed to pass your social studies high set. Once again, when reaching out for extra help, please reference the key ideas in your book. You can email me at njycjerseycity at gmail.com anytime. This is lesson one of the study and prep podcast hosted by Mr. Bailey. Your homework will be taking the other two key ideas presented in this lesson and seeing if you can find out the whys and hows of those statements. Remember, it's all about cause and effect. We will cover these in our next class. Until then, be safe and take care.